is zoom video communications stock a buy after q4 earnings i'm going to answer that question as well as do a review of zoom's q4 results in this video so let's get right into it revenue increased by four percent to 1.1 billion for zoom video of course we all know this company was the the prototypical company that benefited from the COVID-19 pandemic. Many of us were working, learning, studying, doing something from home, and Zoom video communications was essential in connecting people, colleagues, classmates, friends, family, all of that. Uh, we all learned how to learn we all learned how to use Zoom during that time. And the fact that the company's not experiencing significant revenue crashes, despite the fact that, you know, we're not doing learning remotely anymore. Many people are working back in the office, although not five days a week. That shows that Zoom is sticky, right? It's become part of our lives and it's not going away anytime soon. Uh, the company turned to a loss per share of 36 cents in Q4. That was a turnaround from the earnings per share of $1.64 cents in the same quarter the prior year. 115% uh, TTM net dollar expansion. What that means is existing customers with Zoom spent 15% more this year than they did in the prior year so that means they're seeing value in their investment in zoom video in using zoom videos technology and they're increasing their spending that's a good sign customers contributing more than a hundred thousand in trailing 12 month revenue was up by 27 percent so that's another good sign that zoom is bringing on bigger and bigger clients Here's something I find interesting is the call center business. That's growing. I think this is an area that Zoom's technology can fill nicely. There are certain industries where the call center could be better with a video call than just a telephone call. And I think Zoom could play a role in, the, in that. And so I like that they're investing in this area and growing this area. This was troubling to me. Total operating expenses jumped from 562 million all the way up to 953 million. That was troubling. Sales and marketing expense increased dramatically. Research and development expense increased dramatically. And, you know, it especially considering sales and marketing, like they spent that much more on sales and marketing and revenue only increased by 4%. That was a bit troubling to me. I would I would like to have seen a bigger increase in revenue if you're going to increase sales and marketing spending by as much as they did. Cash flow from operations improved to 211.6 million in Q4. This was up from 209.4 million year over year. So the same year the same time the year prior the company increased its cash flow from operations. This is despite the fact that it reported a loss per share. What this this tells us is that the company used a, a greater degree of stock-based compensation because that's a non-cash expense. So th that needs to be accounted for on the income statement. So Zoom reported a loss on the income statement, but on the cash flow statement, it reported an increase. And that's the difference that happens when you use a lot of stock-based compensation, which a lot of tech companies use. Zoom video is not unique in that regard. The company's forecasting fiscal 2024 revenue of $4.44 billion. Now for Zoom, fiscal 2024 has already started, right? This, this quarter that just finished was the Q4 fiscal 2023 and it just ended. I know I don't like this either that companies have uh, different uh, fiscal years and fiscal quarters and so it confuses like right now we're talking about fiscal 2024 for Zoom even though we're in the calendar year 2023. 
Nevertheless, they're forecasting 4.44 billion in revenue and operating income of 1.61 billion for 2024. Those would be improvements from 4.4 billion in revenue and 245 million in operating income from 2023. So growth uh, from that uh, from current year results with the biggest growth coming in operating income and revenue only growing slightly in 2024 if of course if the outcome matches the forecast right many times the outcome is higher or lower than the forecast but this is just the guidance that management is giving and uh, the outcome tends to be close if not exact to what management usually forecasts so given these figures given these updates and and guidance is zoom video communications stock a buy i want to right thank now. the motley fool for sponsoring this video visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks buy. to buy now right now after earnings and i will say yes zoom video stock is a buy after earnings the stock is not expensive trading at a forward price to earnings ratio of less than 20 it was 17 as of this recording and so you're getting a company a growth stock at a non-growth type valuation because of the near-term headwinds that zoom video is facing in the reopening economy in the lesser and lesser use of zoom video for work and learning and all of that so still despite those headwinds I see good prospects for Zoom video in the long term. This it consumers have gotten used to Zoom's software, used to using Zoom, and that's going to be a benefit in terms of adoption of new products like its call center product that it's ramping out. Okay? So if you're thinking about buying Zoom video, it's a good buy right now in terms of the risk versus reward. Okay, so that's all I've got for this video. Thank you for watching. If you want a bigger list of stocks to buy, I'm going to link to that video at the end of this one. So I hope I will see you over there. Thank you for watching.